the Cowboys' days are numbered, with just three and a half weeks and eight regular season games remaining. They are slogging, more than charging, with the stress and fatigue of a season gone sideways becoming more revealing every day. The Pokes are 9-14 overall and 2-8 in the Big 12, where a lust to know. 15 Texas Tech tonight would clinch a .500 or worse league mark for the sixth straight year. Of course, we all know the reasons for OSU struggles, primarily a roster reduced to six useful players, backed by only a few bit players and a cast of walk-ons added in desperation in recent weeks. The Cowboys are significantly short-handed, no thanks to the departures of four players, headed by Michael Weathers, whom many insiders hailed as the team's best player back in October. Mike Boynton continues to push and coach, getting the most of his guys, who are impressively responding. Still, the challenge of managing such a roster has Boynton regularly reaching out to friends and mentors for advice, whether his former coaches at South Carolina, Eddie Fogler and Dave Odom, or others he respects in the business. I asked them if they had ever coached seven players through a season and none of them had any advice for me, Boynton said. So the Cowboys, losers of six straight Big 12 games, carry on, gasping. And frankly, there's little hope that things will get better, more likely worse. These guys are just being stretched, and too far. Cam McGriff averages 35.8 minutes per game, more than all but six players, in the NBA. Including Russell Westbrook. And that's a 48-minute game, compared to the college 40. McGriff's minutes per game is actually down slightly since Jan. 16, when Weathers, Maurice Pelou and Ken Travias Jones were all shown the exit, after Mike Cunningham left previously. But that's mostly due to foul troubles. Still, McGriff played 40 minutes in the second meeting with OU and 36 at TCU. Lindy Waters is at 33.5 minutes a game, giving OSU two players among the top seven in the Big 12 in minutes played. The other four key players, Thomas Giagua, Isaac Lekakele, Yorane and Curtis Jones, have all seen time increases, some dramatic, most notably Lekakele and Nene, two rookies who were sure to already be hitting the freshman wall at this stage of the season. Lekakele, facing the demands of the point, went from averaging 23 minutes a game before D-Day, dismissal day, to playing 34.2 minutes in the six contests since. He played 39 minutes at TCU and 37 two other times. Inay went from 17.8 minutes to 32.3 over the last six games, including 38 on Saturday at Kansas. Those are hefty role changes, and playing time additions, particularly for guys who were used to playing eight-minute quarters in high school, where they didn't face near the grind found within the Big 12 schedule. So, forgive the Cowboys if they fade. Still, there is a bright side. The Cowboys are in position to return 100% of their minutes from this season, and add a recruiting class that will bolster the roster with top-shelf talent. And don't overlook this. These Cowboys, individually, are getting better, an excellent sign of Boynton's abilities as a coach. McGriffin Waters, already good players, are noticeably improved. Giagua, once a role player, has added layers to his game. Like Akele and Ine, unheralded recruits, have progressed throughout the season and now offer potential to be special. The season has gone sideways, but the overall outlook still comes with a clear path back to hope and optimism. I think everybody is still very supportive, Boynton said. It's obviously a unique season in a lot of ways. No one's happy that we're not winning right now, but I think they understand where we are in how we got here and that we're doing things to try to get back to where we can have sustainable success over a period of time because we do things the right way along the ride. <laughs>